let's say this this liver has three metastases in it. Right. You surgically remove those three, and then exactly what would you do? Well, then we put we put this uh, this pump, which is um, uh, a metallic. Uh, it's like the size of a hockey puck, and it's put into uh, right under the skin, over the on the abdominal muscles there, over the abdominal muscles. And we put a catheter into the hepatic artery. Now, the liver metastases are fed by the hepatic blood supply. And the liver has a dual blood supply. Not every organ in the body does, but the liver has a portal vein blood supply and hepatic artery blood supply. So the portal vein feeds the normal liver. The hepatic artery feeds the metastases. So this way we can put meds medicines directly into the hepatic artery and they go to the tumor and that's why it's a useful treatment for liver metastases. So to make sure I'm clear you take this hockey puck sized thing and you actually surgically implant it so yes. that it's feeding chemotherapy? Yes, into the Directly liver. into the liver via that artery. Right, and we it's done the same time as the surgery to remove the metastases. So you remove the metastases and at the same time you put this pump in. We call it a pump. And then the pump is under the skin, but it, you can feel it and you can easily access it and fill it with chemotherapy. Are the side effects worse? Well, you get, you get no systemic side effects, no hair loss or diarrhea or rash or any of those things. But because it's going directly to the liver, you can have liver side effects. So you have to watch the liver functions. These are blood tests very carefully. And if you see any changes in the blood test, you have to lower your drug or hold the drug. So there has to be very careful monitoring.